Hello, uh, it's Paul Markham here. It's the 1st of January 2019, so big Happy New Year to everybody. Uh, and this is a very quick video just talking through uh, my next project car, which is this 1954 DKW F89P Meisterclass, the export model. What a mouthful that is. Uh, some people who may have seen my other videos will know I'm interested in DKW cars. Um, DKW were a German brand, uh, very big in the 1930s with their two-stroke engine cars. And they continued on through into the 1960s before being taken over by Volkswagen. And they uh, are now known as Audi. Uh, so this is the 1954 car and if we can just get a quick look into the engine bay as you see that's the big motor 700 cc two-stroke uh, twin cylinder uh, transversely mounted so i know some people think that that was something that the uh, mini was the first car to do uh, not at all uh, the first uh, transverse mounted DKW engine was in 1930. So, this is the car. It's an export model for speed. Um, the design of the body was from 1938. Uh, they produced a couple of maybe 10 vehicles. Uh, to test the concept back in 1930. The car was supposed to go into production in 1940. Uh, but then there was war, so they didn't get to produce it until 1950. This car came from Portugal. It looks a little bit rough, but uh, interior is pretty good condition. Uh, as you can see, yeah, it's a bit worn. But uh, yeah, it's very interesting, really interesting type of vehicle, uh, especially with the placement of the gear shifter, as you can see here. Gear shift is in the middle of the dashboard. Anyway, the engine uh, needs a complete rebuild, which is, I'm trying to start work on that very shortly. Uh, there's a few issues with rust in the floor, which is a common problem for these cars, but the bodywork itself is pretty good. Uh, not needing anything, you know, major, which is good to see. It was originally a light green colour, repainted dark green sometime, probably in the 80s. Not very well, as you can see. There's quite a few bits of uh, rough paint. Anyway, that's the car. If people have ever read my blog, I usually take photographs and give updates on how... The project progresses that way but this time I think I might do some videos because maybe that's easier and uh, more immediate anyway as you can see these are some of the other cars that we have in our garage it's my wife's 1962 Carmen gear very beautiful car lovely little uh, vehicle uh, that too actually when we got it it was black bought in Melbourne it was actually a, a a Melbourne delivered car it was bought in Melbourne. It was black when we got it. It had seven layers of paint, one over the other, which we stripped it right back to bare metal and had it re properly restored. A lot of rust. Uh, Volkswagens are notorious for rusting, especially the Karma gear. Everything down from here downwards was had to be re completely replaced. But as you can see, beautiful car, lovely colour very sexy uh, yeah very happy with that <laughs> uh, and on this side here this is the big brother of the F89 it's my F94 that model came out in about 1955 it features the three cylinder engine that was originally planned to go into production with the 1940 model but unfortunately as I said war came along DKW were forced to move from East Germany to West Germany and in the process they lost the copy of the engine 
they had to get one from the East German company, successor company to DKW, which was called IFA. So they didn't actually get to put a proper three-cylinder engine into that model car up uh, until 1954. One other thing I'll say about the F89 is that that's one of the last models um, available with the old engine. Um, that's another fact is it's a 23 horsepower two-cylinder engine. It's very small for a car of its size so I'm not expecting that we'll be doing much uh, freeway racing on that particular car. <laughs> if it gets to 90 kilometers an hour that will be amazing. As you can see over there we have pride of the fleet at the moment is my 1952 Tatra Tatra plan. Uh, that car you'll see some other videos if you look on my channel um, came from the York Motor Museum it was pretty rough when I got it uh, the side that you're looking at right there uh, had some really bad rust uh, paintwork was falling off especially around the rear quarter window it, it, there's a lot of bog covering that rear quarter uh, but that's all been fixed now the car was off the road for two years it's been resprayed. Uh, when we actually pulled the paint off uh, and then looked under the bog, it turned out that there wasn't really any rust in there. It was just bad prep from the early 1980s when that car was first restored. Uh, other than that, the car has been had a new gearbox, which I've complained uh, around a lot about the state of the the gearbox and the problems we've had with trying to find replacement parts uh, that's all sorted out now so the car is actually back on the road and driving which is great it's a really great to, to see something so unusual and rare actually running uh, yeah. anyway so that's uh, my little video for the new year I'm expecting to uh, do a few more videos as I said showing uh, how the progress of the um, uh, progress of the project uh, goes with the masterclass so uh, have a happy new year and uh, see you online thanks